Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're doing another virtual machine video here with VirtualBox and Windows 10 on the Mac. And today I wanted to make this video to talk about some different ways that you could possibly speed up your virtual machine performance. So I see people sometimes complain that why is my virtual machine running so slow or how can I make it run faster? You know, what is the problem with my machine? So we're going to talk about a few things that you can do and possible causes for a slow virtual machine. So the first things first, your virtual machine may be running slow because of your host machine. And what do I mean by that? Well, what processor does your host machine have? How much RAM does your host machine have? How much storage space? There's a lot of different factors that could affect your virtual machine's performance. Now I have a 2018 MacBook Air with the uh, little Intel Core i5 processor that only runs at 1.61 gigahertz, I believe. So that could be part of my issue. Uh, a better processor would definitely help because if we go into our CPU settings, uh, which are somewhere in here, right here, you can see that I could increase my CPU slightly but if I had a better processor in this computer, I could increase it more. So that would improve my performance uh, a good amount. Another thing with your host machine is the RAM. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM and you can see that right here in megabytes. And I have a good amount of RAM that I can allocate to my virtual machine. So if you have less RAM, like eight gigabytes or even four, well, your host machine could be struggling to do all of its tasks as well as supply the memory for your virtual machine. To show you what I mean by that, here is the activity monitor. And as you can see, under memory, we have 16 gigs. And you can see right now we're using 11.97, almost 12 gigs of RAM. And what is the main culprit? Well, VirtualBox VM. You can see it's using 4.73, so it's actually using over four gigabytes of RAM. So another way you could might could speed up your machine is actually to lower your RAM. So most of the time you can get by with two gigs, maybe three. I might actually lower mine uh, here in the future and see how it does, but that's another uh, thing right there. Now speaking again about the RAM and the CPU, well, another way to speed up your machine would be to allocate more of your RAM or CPU to the machine. So basically, if you keep it in this green right here, then you should be pretty good. Uh, like I said, two gigs or three, really the most you're gonna need. Uh, I have it set to four right now, but if you allocate more memory, then that can let you see how much memory is needed uh, for your virtual machine. You can see, interesting right here, that, well, we have in use 1.8 gigs, and we still have plenty available, but our CPU is just maxed out at 100%, and we're literally doing nothing. I mean, I have no programs or anything open, so that can show you right there how it's doing, but right now my memory is doing pretty good, so you can always check that in your virtual machine as well. Another way you can increase the performance is by tweaking some of your video memory settings. So no matter what these settings are, you want to make sure that your video memory slider is all the way to the right. And if you enable 3D and 2D acceleration, or just one or the other, it helps this a lot right here. So if, if you can allocate the most video memory possible, that can help your virtual machine run a lot more smoother. Another thing that can help out your VM's performance is instead of using a dynamically allocated size, you might want to try to use a fixed size. So this is when you are actually creating your virtual machine. So when you go to new and you start the process of creating it, and then you get to the part where you are doing a hard drive space, if you select fixed size instead of dynamically allocated, that can make your performance faster as well because the machine has all that hard drive space set aside available ready to go instead of dynamically allocating it over time. And yes, I know in all of my install videos for virtual machines, I say use dynamically allocated, 
because it is the better option, uh, especially if you are don't have a lot of storage on your host machine. Uh, it is the better option to do that, but it can help to do a fixed size from time to time. Next up, be sure your guest editions are installed. Why? Because they help access your host machine's hardware and drivers and all of that. And one of those things could be causing your machine to run more slow. Now each VM is different, but in VirtualBox you just go to Devices and Insert Guest Editions CD Image. And then you go to your File Explorer or wherever um, in your virtual machine and it'll pop up in there and then you can simply just install them. Now by the way, my machine is running really slow right now, but that's because I am screen recording with QuickTime Player, so that's what's causing the slowdown. But yeah, make sure your guest editions are installed and are installed properly so your machine can run better. Another thing you can do is exclude any VirtualBox or Oracle files from Windows Defender or your other antivirus software. That could slow it down at times. Uh, it's not really a major thing most of the time. Another thing is treat your virtual machine like you would a normal computer. So if you have a lot of background tasks running, for example, Windows Defender is a big one here, or maybe you have something like OneDrive or any other applications that are constantly running in the background, Try to eliminate some of those background tasks that can help free up uh, your virtual machine's memory as well as the CPU, causing it to run faster. A big thing to do with speed as well is make sure your virtual machines are installed on a solid state drive. So most modern Macs have SSDs in them. I think some of the iMacs still have the uh, traditional hard drives. But if you install it on a hard drive, it's of course going to be a lot slower accessing files and things on a hard drive than flash storage or an SSD. So you might want to move your VirtualBox uh, VM folder, which is right here. You might want to move that to a SSD or something, like get a little external SSD if you do not have a computer with one. And that will help uh, run it a lot faster as well. When you are exiting your virtual machine, instead of going to the Windows button or going right here and clicking power off or send the shutdown signal, instead what you could do is save the machine state. So that way you can hit OK and it's going to save the machine uh, exactly how it was when you left it. So that way you can access it without having to start it up again and all that and that way you can just go right in and get started of course stuff will already be open and things will be in the RAM so everything will be accessed a lot more quickly and you can see we have the saved machine uh, state here so if we click on the start it's gonna go ahead and open it right up uh, restored so uh, it just takes a little bit for it to actually uh, come back up here, but once it does, we'll be exactly how we left it. So at times, that can make it feel a little bit faster as well. So give it a few more seconds here. And there we go. It's just like we left it, and it's all ready to go. Now the final tip that I have for you here is pretty simple. Uh, it's try a different virtual machine program. So some people say VirtualBox is good, some people say VMware or Parallels. You know, find a program that works for you. Uh, some of those paid ones are actually worth paying for. Uh, they do have free trials or light versions, so you can try them out uh, before you make that decision. But a different program may run a lot better on your machine uh, than a free program like VirtualBox. So that's my final tip. Uh, is to try a different virtual machine program. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just a few tips that you may can use to help uh, improve your virtual machine performance. Please let me know in the comments below, did you find these helpful? Do you have any tips for improving the performance of your virtual machine? 
But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you all in the next video.